Good afternoon. The main thoroughfare to get to New Mexico State University in Las Cruces is getting a major overhaul. And for most drivers, it will look like nothing they've ever seen before. News 13's Rebecca Atkins shows us. Getting on and off at University and I-25 in Las Cruces is the main access point to NMSU. And in the last few years, the area has seen a boom. The city of Las Cruces and surrounding areas have experienced constant growth. This has exceeded the capacity of the current infrastructure, as well as the very heavy congestion felt during large events in this area. So NMDOT has started construction on the $34 million I-25 University Avenue project. DOT has created these videos showing what the project will look like once complete, showing the addition of two roundabouts. They say the main changes will be along Trevis. This roadway we will be adding in two roundabouts. The first smaller one giving access to businesses north of of University Avenue, as well as a straight pathway into the NMSU campus and Pan Am Center. As the interchange is the most traveled exit for students and faculty, DOT has made sure to consider that as construction continues. As with any project, the main concern of the public is how is this going to impact my commute. We're working with the contractor, NMSU, and the City of Las Cruces to minimize these impacts. And not only will the changes help support the growing population, but it will be visually appealing too. This project is going to have a lot of artwork and I think it's something that we're all going to be proud of. This is some of the art done by a local artist, and here you can see where there will be branding for NMSU as you travel through. There will be other upgrades as well. We're improving sidewalks all the way across University Avenue, um, putting in bike lanes. We're extending the Trevise Trail to tie to the NMSU trail system, and so there's lots of multimodal opportunities. Rebecca Atkins, KRQE News 13. Construction for the project kicked off in January. It's expected to be complete by summer of next year.